a new Prime Minister for Japan today, but could the next sumo leaders also emerge? I wasn't there in person, so let me tell the story as best I can from the news reports. Nishiki Fuji still hasn't lost at salaried level, picking up a fourth straight win on his Division 2 debut. Giving away several dozen kilos to Dai Shoho, he says he never planned on going for the force out and was really hanging on in the belt battle. However, he has practiced similar situations with giant stablemate Teruno Fuji and is far the stronger for them. Another lightweight defying the odds is Tobizaru, who is yet to lose in Division 1 after also overcoming a huge weight deficit. After jumping behind Kaisei to push him out, he told reporters, I wasn't beaten for power and really flustered him by taking the initiative. It was good I could get forward so well. Although he relishes proving that size doesn't matter, he does fear fatigue could creep in over the coming days and hopes his powers of focus will see him through. He shares the lead, believe it or not, with only one other man, Onosho, who consigned Enho to his fourth straight defeat this afternoon. I made sure not to do anything hasty and ended up fighting calmly, the Aomori man said. I watched Enho carefully. Anything he threw at me, I was ready for. Asked about the amazing contrast with July, which you may remember saw him lose his first 13 bouts straight, he said, it's all down to mentality, right? Just behind the surprise leaders is a man whose muscles are fast outgrowing his surprise package t-shirt. Takano Sho saw off Dai Eisho today and claimed his relaxed approach helped him coolly deal with his opponent's feared thrusts. All I thought about was blocking those thrusts, he explained. With five siblings, he's certainly not short of family support. And with three wins already against the four highest ranked men he can face, they may well be dreaming big. The final three matches saw three stars turn their fortunes around. Teruno Fuji has bounced back from 0 and 2 to 2 and 2 with revenge over Shodai, who famously delayed his title win last month. Revenge is not the word the Mongolian would openly use, though. Unlike last time, I just made sure to secure my favoured stance, he revealed. Tomorrow's match with Dai Eisho sees him complete his fixtures against the top five men on the chart. Well may he hope to push on in the middle third. Next, Asano Yama finally got a win. His 75% success rate against Hokuto Fuji was likely the reason for his added confidence and composure today. He coolly worked his way through the textbook of attacking angles before finally finding the right one. That turned yesterday's critics into today's fauners. Chairman Hakaku praised the way he asserted himself and stayed on the offense, while Asashoryu tweeted, That's it! Give us some wins! And, He has the ability to win. So long as he shows confidence and progresses, I won't be angry. The final act saw Takakesho also recover from Day 3 defeat to edge a nervy contest against big hitter Tamawashi. Of note was the Ozeki's discreet use of the right parry to set himself up for the final charge. It's a move his opponents don't usually expect, so focused are they on blunting his weaponry on the left. His huge left parry was also a joy to watch. If he maintains this level, he may well be the title favorite. Crucially, NHK pundit Mainomi detected none of the major movement problems which have destroyed his form since March. Good news, we will again be at the Kokugikan to monitor his and the other wrestlers' progress tomorrow. Thank you for your support and get the word out if you can. We are no more the No Videos channel. And I look forward to bringing you some more new high-definition videos tomorrow.